and then the second book is about St. Paul. And in some respects, it's following in the footsteps of Paul that, that I was able to do on a, a sabbatical in Greece that just is phenomenal. I mean, yeah. to, you know, walk in these real spots. As yeah. In, well, you know, the same thing happens to people when they go to Israel. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's the Sea of Galilee. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right. it's not the Ohio River. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, pardon me. But, you yes. know, I mean, it's, it's the real deal. And the yeah. same thing in Greece. I mean, there you are in Corinth and you go, what? <laughs> right. You know, um, Philippi. I mean, it just goes on and on. Uh, Ephesus. Uh, but with that, um, what, I, what I really approach is the renewal of the mind. Uh, do not be conformed to this world, but mm. be transformed by the renewal of the mind. And one of the teachings that I began to pick up on back, again, back in the mid-80s, is what they call the Lectio Divina, which is the divine word. And what you do is it's an exercise. It came out of Ignatius, really, but it's an exercise to read scripture and find a word, find mm. a phrase, find a verse yeah. that grabs you and go with it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to read the whole. I mean, you can read the whole chapter, but find that you know, and boy, that's that's been very uh, helpful for me in terms of a guy that likes to talk. <laughs> well, doesn't yeah, that's really great. like to listen, and is you know looking around all the time for the next thing. Yeah, stop it, slow down. Yes, read, experience what that word means yeah. for you. <laughs> 